Good morning, my friends. How are you doing? Today we are going to talk about points of inflection of a function and concavity of a function. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. Says find the points of inflection and discuss the concavity of the graph of the function f of x is equal to x plus 2 times cosine of x. The interval we are interested in is from 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So, let's work on the solution for this. The solution. So, f of x is equal to x plus 2 cosine x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So first we'll find the first derivative. So f prime x, which is the first derivative, is 1 minus 2 sine x. Okay. Then we will find the second derivative of f of x, which is we find the derivative of 1 minus 2 sine x, which is um, sine x derivative is uh, uh, cosine x. So it will be and derivative of 1 is 0. Sine x derivative is cosine x. So the negative sign remains is minus 2 cosine x. Okay. So, f double prime x is equal to 0 when x is equal to pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 in the interval between 0 and 2 pi. Okay. So, let's uh, test the intervals, different intervals, test intervals. First, we'll test the interval 0, less than x, less than pi by 2. Then, we'll test the interval pi by 2, less than x, less than 3 pi by 2. And the last interval we will be testing is 3 pi by 2, less than x, less than 2 pi. Okay, so these are the intervals we are testing. Okay, so we will look at sine of f double prime or the second derivative of fx. Okay, so um, in the interval from zero to pi by 2, okay? This is uh, less than 0. This is less than 0. Okay, less than 0. Because uh, cosine x is uh, positive uh, and minus 2 times positive is negative, less than 0, okay? Now we are going to test it between the interval pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2. Okay. Here cosine of uh, x is negative. So negative times minus 2 is positive. So this is. Uh, let's look, write this clearly. F double prime is less than 0. Here F double prime is greater than 0. Okay. And. In the interval between 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi, uh, which is the fourth quadrant, we know cosine is negative there. So negative times minus 2. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> in the fourth quadrant between 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi, cosine is positive, right? It is first quadrant is all. Second quadrant is sine. Third quadrant is tangent and the fourth quadrant is cosine. 
So in the fourth quadrant between 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi, cosine is positive. So positive time minus 2 is negative. So if double prime is less than 0 here. Okay. So what is our conclusion then here? So again, we are looking at three different intervals. So here, f double prime is less than zero. So concavity, <clears throat> concave downward. This is concave downward. Okay. Here, f double prime greater than zero. So it is concave upward. And here, we have double prime less than zero, concave downward. Okay. So, let's uh, move this a little bit. Oops. Okay, so let's look at points of inflection then. Points. Uh, fine. Red pen is fine. Points of inflection. Are pi by two, pi by two, and then comma three pi by two, three pi by two. Okay. And concave upward. Pi by two and three pi by two. Okay. And what about concave downward? Concave downward is between <clears throat> zero and pi by two and three pi by two to two pi. Okay. So this is concave upward this one and this is concave downward and this is points of inflection so <clears throat> i'll stop here today if you have any question comment please write me a note i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i really appreciate that and if you like this video please let your friends know about it so that you and your friends can subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.